The first topic, the lay of the land, why we're all here is CFOs have become the most important stakeholder in economic downturns, in many cases, even more important than CEOs, right? These are kind of like correlative lines where as the economy dips, the CFO's scrutiny on spend increases. We all dealt with this in Q2 of 2020 when the pandemic started. We saw CFOs, even in big companies, uh, approval thresholds dip from $500,000 to $50,000, sometimes even less. In today's day and age, I know one CFO who won't let any spend $3,000 or more be approved without his approval. So we've got a lot of scrutiny on this, right? That's the economic environment we're in. That'll set us up for the discussion. And so the first question I have for CFOs, and Michael, we're going to start with you on this one, and then we'll pass it around. Tim and Jim, feel free to chime in and just have a conversation. But help us understand how your decision-making process has changed in the last year. What does the narrative look like that I just spelled out in your world? And help us understand what internal decision-making looks like for you. Yeah, I think I think a year ago, a, a, a year ago, I would have been more willing to have conversations around like, what do you need to grow more? Not not that I was completely ignoring cost, but I mean that was a conversation that you know I would have been having with folks more often a year ago. Where I think today, the kind of the general conversation, at least from my end, is we need more out of what you've got. What 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 more can I get out of you for the, you know, for the, for the, for the spend that you have today? Um, Chris is kind of the way I think about the change in a broad sense. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like we've gone from a mindset of like, how fast could we grow if we pulled out all the stops? Let's not be totally irresponsible with our money, but let's spend for the sake of growth to maximization, to getting everything we can out of what we've got. Uh, Tim, what color would you ask to this or add to this one? Yeah, yeah, I would echo absolutely uh, what Michael was saying. And I would I would add is that particularly with our renewal stack, right? So you know, over the last several years, we've proliferated in a variety of SaaS products. Uh, my key question to our teams is, what are you really using, and what could you do also without? Like, are you getting the true value that you thought you did? Whereas. To Michael's point, in better times, I think, again, there was an assumption that you were getting value out of a lot of these tools. Now we really want to understand what, what's happening in all of these tools that you're using. Yeah, we're going to talk about shelfware uh, a little bit later because one of the things we've heard in our research is shelfware is one of the CFO's like mortal en enemies, right? It's unproductive spend. We'll talk about that a little bit more when we talk about value real realization. Jim, what color do you have to add here? I would say, uh, you know, I, the, the other thing I would add to both what Michael and Tim said was uh, certainly we are much more cost conscious and budget conscious now than a year ago, right? And so there is more scrutiny around, is it in the budget? Is it in the plan? Um, and um, th there's just an extra kick of, of a lot of purchases that probably would not happen a year ago. And I think that's just in general, when an economy starts to so-called go into a recession, you're doing that as a consumer. And I think you're doing that as a business person. So I think that's the kind of the thing that we're looking at at, at Drift and, and other tech companies. <laughs>